Okay, what's up guys? So, uh, I'm gonna try to test out all of the weapons I do have. So, next week I could just, uh, or, you know, yeah, next weekend I can just test out one weapon and then just get another one. But, uh, yeah, I, I have, like, I think this one and then a couple of sniper rifles that I need to test out. But anyways, this is called the Judith D. Now, this I do remember where you get this from. You get this from the gunsmith. And, uh, yeah, he, he sells them, and he sold, well, I think he already sold them, I don't know if he's still selling any things, but, uh, this has a nice look to it, too, and, um, that's what I forgot to talk about in the last, like, all of the specs and stuff for the last one, but, uh, you know, ch ch like, chances are, it, I, I don't know, I, I don't know, I might just have to do a part two, just show it, but I, I, there ain't no reason for that, but anyways, yeah, it's just a little for, um, mistake, but I mean, if you have the weapon, or if you want to get the weapon, you could get it, see the specs, but sometimes the specs be different, though, like, I know that, I noticed that with, like, scout rifles, sometimes the specs are different, like, with the, uh, not like the others, that scout rifle, it had, like, some different specs on it, because I remember mine, I got two of those, and, uh, the one had explosive rounds, but the other one didn't, so I was just like, oh, well, that's crazy. But anyways, yeah, this is called the Judith D hand cannon. Rate of fire ain't all that good. Impact is very, very good. Range, uh, it, I mean, it's not good, but it's a hand cannon, so it's something ex to expect. Stability doesn't look like it's all that good. And reload, but I mean, it's just, it's a hand cannon, so. Um, but anyways, reload, it doesn't look all that good, too. But uh, anyways, let's see the specs for this one. So, sure shot is, or is, I don't know. Sir, um, snap, or, wait, what? Okay, now it's confusing. Sure shot, and then snapshots. Okay, okay. Snapshot sight. Excellent handling. Suburb targeted acquaintance. Okay. I believe that's how you say that word. If not, then I don't know. But anyways, surround it. This weapon gains bonus damage when three or more enemies are in a close proximity. That's pretty cool. Final round. This last, the last round in the magazine deals bonus damage. That's pretty cool. Speed reload, definitely might have to equip that. Armor piercing rounds, I don't know. Like, I, I really don't notice. When I have that on some weapons, I don't really notice it. So, I might just to see how it is. Oiled frame, faster reload, reduced range. So, dang, it's like, you know. But I, I might have to keep that too, the, um, keep that the faster reload thing. Because it does, it does need some uh, things to work on with the reload and the scout. Or not scout rifles, but the hand cannons and things. I haven't even used this, and so like I'm already talked about it as if I did, but no, it's um because I'm thinking of the last hand cannon I used, and so um, <clears throat> but I think it might it looked like it was the same exact uh like you know that reload was the same exact thing for both hand cannons, so yeah, definitely might have to uh, do it. But anyways, let's see what this is. Let's see what this is all about. Yeah, it's very uh slow, but um. It's still damaging, like made him stand in place. That's actually pretty cool. See, it's actually a pretty good uh, hand cannon. The impact is very damaging, or, you know, yeah, the bullets are very damaging and stuff, but I, I say it's pretty cool. You know, I, I ain't got it, you know, it's just pretty much only complaint is that uh, it's a little slow. It's not like the uh, the other um, hand cannon I was just using. It's a little bit faster and things. I can help this guy out. But uh, it's it's pretty good. I have you know I, I say I like it. Uh oh. Yeah, I might have to you know I might have to use a super on these guys. Even though this is a you know hand cannon testing video, just act like this part's not even happening right now. Uh oh. I didn't realize he was here. Uh oh. Uh oh. Dang, he didn't even reload. But this is, uh, this is really, it's actually pretty good. Dang, that guy here, yeah, he's, he's full of health. Probably them, uh, Taken is gonna subside, and then Aim are gonna probably kill them, so. Something to expect. There's just only two of us, and ain't like a whole group is here, so. Something is just, it's, you know, it, it happens. Something you just gotta deal with. But I say this is a pretty good, uh, hand cannon. I ain't got no complaints. I think it's doing like thousand damage on him, so it's yeah, it's really good. Usually they don't do that. It's like especially if you're just playing like uh, just doing like the little the, the when you're just free roaming, like you ain't just you ain't gotta do no missions and stuff. You just free roaming around. I 
And I think the Tekken is getting ready to subside. They could probably do it at any moment, any given moment. But this is a really good uh, weapon, though. I am really am liking this. It's a little slow, but I mean, it's, it's good. It's like, I'm really just trying to, like, stay in the zone right now and just kind of focus, but... It's just you know maybe if they if they wasn't here then I probably would have been a little bit more focused but since these guys are here it's a it's a little bit challenging oh he died oh he died okay that better not be no exotic yeah it's usually not they don't usually drop exotic so but anyways that was pretty good you know to see this weapon see what it can do against the uh, taken seems like it could uh, it can handle the taken and things it can handle cabal. I don't even think I did that bounty where I had to kill like uh, 50 Cabal um, people. Not that I remember. But uh, anyways, let's go into this uh, this little room. Oh, got a little vault. Or a, a loot. The loot box thingamajigger. I don't know what they call them. But anyways, uh, did I do that bounty? I don't think I did. Yeah. I, how many do I need to kill? Alright, so that's... I need to kill like half. Yeah, I ain't gonna fool. <laughs> I ain't gonna fool around with that bounty. I only killed like twenty. I feel like I killed way more than twenty four. So, anyways, um, yeah, I ain't gonna fool around with that bounty. But um, anyways, thank you for watching. This has been me using the Judith D. Once again, you could get this weapon from um, the gunsmith in the game. And, uh, yeah, the gunsmith at the tower. I mean, there's only one gunsmith in the game. But anyways, yeah, you could get the Judith D from the gunsmith. And uh, use it as many times as you want. I don't know, because, like, sometimes he'll take away a weapon and then start selling something else. So I don't know if there, if he, if you do see it, then you could go ahead and get me. If you like it, then you like it. But if you don't, then you don't. Me, I have to say, between the two, the one, the Imago loop that I used before, and this, I have to say I like the Imago loop, because that's a little bit faster. But uh, there's probably some uh, other hand cannons faster than both of these combined and stuff. So uh, I feel like, you know, if it's... if it, faster than both of them is probably like a sidearm or something so anyways i don't even know but uh i'll have to uh start testing out some more hand cannons later on and things but anyways thank you for watching hopefully you enjoyed the video and if you are new please like and subscribe stay tuned for some more videos of destiny the taken king and i will talk to you guys later peace